My name is Steve Mashia. I am the Chief Executive Officer of the Moses Scott Dani Foundation. As the Chief Executive Officer of the Moses Scott Dani Foundation, uh, my humble work that I've been requested to do is to administratively make sure that we preserve the legacy of Moses Kotani now with uh, Mama Kotani, Mama Rebecca Kotani. So the foundation itself, it is a foundation that um, it's a non-profit organization that um, seeks to use the legacy of Moses Kotani and Mama Rebecca Kotani to make sure that um, it, 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 it preserves it quite very well and then use that legacy to assist communities here in Pela, Matlaku, uh, in Northwest, in South Africa and abroad as we follow um, the footsteps of our stalwart Isitwalandwe Seaparangwenda de Moses Kotani. And we do that through uh, the six pillars that we have as the foundation. We then touch the lives of our people by um, the first pillar, which is uh, education, uh, the second pillar, which is health, the third pillar, which is agriculture, and the fourth pillar, that is um, arts and culture and tourism, as we need to promote the site and make sure that we continue using the tourism, you know, to uh, assist, you know, communities, you know, of, of different areas. The site was uh, declared as a, a national heritage site uh, in 2015, along the time that uh, we then repatriated the remains of Ndate Moses Kotani from um, Russia into South Africa uh, around March uh, uh, of 2015. Moses Kotani um, is uh, an individual, is, is our father. Uh, Moses Kotani is an activist. Uh, he's a politician. Um, Moses Kotani was born here in Tampostat, here in Pela. And he then um, uh, went to uh, look for work in uh, Krukastop, and that's where he met his political act, uh, active uh, uh, life uh, uh, there in Krukastop when he joined uh, the uh, Bakers Association. And then he went uh, to join the South African Communist Party. Um, and then from there, he also went to then join the ANC. And we are talking about a stalwart. Um, Moses Kotani is the longest serving uh, GS of the South African Communist Party, who uh, was tasked uh, uh, with um, uh, working alongside other comrades in establishing the Umkonto Wesizwe uh, back in around 1960-61 and then he then was tasked also to then um, operate in the Umkonto Wesizwe military commission in making sure that uh, Umkonto Wesizwe operates you know quite very well. So he then left the country um, um, along the time that um, the Communist Party got banned in 1950, but he was going in and out of the country and he also uh, left the country around the 60s when the ANC was banned to go to Africa and to make sure that uh, Umkonto Wesizwe you know, operates uh, properly and all other operations of the um, uh, ANC and uh, of the uh, Communist Party, including that of uh, the today uh, what you call COSATU. It is always an, an, an honor to um, replant you know, your, your, your remains, uh, especially where you come from, uh, from the village that would have made you to be who you subsequently become, uh, like Ndate Kodani. So what we have been doing since uh, 2015, we have been having annual programs that keeps the light on the annual programs where we are teaching people 
about who Moses Kotani was and what are Moses Kotani's ideals and what were his ideas. Uh, we are starting only here in Pella with projects that we uh, have identified of having the art center, the project of having the uh, theater, uh, the Garden of Remembrance, uh, the, 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 you know, making sure that uh, the issue of the house, the heritage house becomes proper and like I indicated, here where we are, making sure that this site also becomes uh, proper. We are also going to be having projects that we are doing in Gauteng, particularly in Deep Kloof and in um, uh, other areas of Gauteng because uh, Ntate Kotani, you know, spent almost all his life in, in, in Gauteng. We, uh, we are facing quite a number of challenges uh, and I think mostly the challenges that we are facing it's on the basis that a lot of people, uh, our society uh, and our communities, and I want to believe our government and other private sector, you know, uh, uh, community, still do not understand the role and the roles foundations play in society. Now, we are in a process where we are educating people around the importance of working together with foundations, especially uh, as a member of society also, making sure that we assist government in making sure that we turn the lives of the people to the positive. Now, we have got some challenges with our uh, government in terms of assisting, you know, in managing the site quite uh, very well. And, uh, you know, uh, other sides of government, they are very much supportive, you know, to the foundation, but there's still room for improvement that, you know, uh, we can, you know, do more. Uh, in terms of our uh, uh, SARA, to be, to be specific, uh, we would request that not only this site, but even other sites, um, they look into improving the support as a framework structure around how this site needs to be managed accordingly, as they are the custodians of uh, making sure that they actually certify, you know, the heritage um, uh, stature of, you know, the sites. That's number one. Number two, our arts and culture department, uh, if they can also, you know, improve in terms of uh, the support, you know, of making sure that the sites gets to be managed, you know, properly, because they are the leading, you know, uh, department uh, in government and the actual custodians of making sure that we work hand in glove in making sure that this um, uh, uh, um, legacy gets to be, you know, preserved quite uh, 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 well. My humble plea uh, and, and, and a call to South Africans, um, starting here in Pela, Matlako, Patsimang, Dampostat, the Moses Kotani Municipality Area, Bujanala, Northwest, South Africa and the world, you know, uh, as a whole, is to say, here lies um, the son of the soil, Ndate Moses Mawane Kotani. And here lies Mama, uh, our mother, uh, uh, also one of the mothers of the nation, uh, Mama Rebecca Murakotani. These people, they have done a lot for South Africa. They have sacrificed their lives. They have contributed in fighting uh, the injustice that has been perpetuated to our people and all other people, you know, uh, uh, in South Africa. So uh, please find time to come to the site, to come and pay your respects, and to come learn more about the work uh, that they have done uh, for us as a contribution for South Africa to be where it is today, together with a whole lot of other stalwarts, by the way.